All right, and today is Mom's the Word. It's time to talk turkey. Every girl experiences it. So why is it such a taboo topic? A new ad is taking on that time of the month in a very frank and funny way. It was the beginning of summer, and no one knew me at camp. I was just a big random loser. Then things changed. I got my period. The red badge of courage. I was the first one to get it, so I was like the expert. I became the camp gyno. I'm a queen bee, come get it. No tripping. I got everything you need. I'm a queen. Oh, I love it. Where was this ad back when we were all getting our periods, right? It's like so yeah. embarrassing. It's so great. I love it. Viewed nearly 5 million times on YouTube. That video is an ad for Hello Flow. You know, that's a tampon delivery service for tweens and teens. What a smart idea. That is presenting an opportunity to have an open and honest conversation with your kids. So how can parents best tackle the topic of menstruation with the daughters? Here to weigh in is psychologist Dr. Diana Kirshner and, you know, mother and author of Bonding Over Beauty, Erica Katz. Good morning, ladies. Good Hi. morning. I wish I have that because you know what my mom Absolutely. did? Absolutely. Here's a little book, and then we had, I, I don't even know, it was kind of a little chat afterwards. Though. No, but you yeah. had some like random coded conversation where yeah. both of you felt really icky about and it. Awkward. And awkward. Right. And it's like, oh my God, that's the opposite of what you want to do. And this, this ad is fantastic because right. you want to be positive, you want to be relaxed, you know, this is natural. I even like the way they say the red badge the of red courage. Badge. You're going to get the red courage. badge of courage. And then she threw <laughs> the tampons up in there. Let's talk about that. You know, this is part of just life. This is part of being a girl. Why is it such an issue of how we talk about it, Erica? Well, you know, I find that even my own daughter's asking me about it now, and you need to tell her that it lasts five to seven days. I mean, I didn't know that. I was huddled in the corner reading, mm -hmm. Are You There, God? It's Me, right. Margaret. Right. And I was so <laughs> embarrassed. But now, I love this ad because it says, You don't have to be embarrassed about this. This is part of growing mm -hmm. up, and I love the pride that they have in it, and it's not something to be ashamed of. Because really, you know, we no, all have to deal with it. Every yes. girl gets it. Yes. She has to deal with it. You know, we yes. hit the streets yesterday to hear directly from teen girls on having to talk about that time of the month with their parents. We want you, you to take a listen now. Well, I had that talk with my mom, but when I first started, I was scared to talk to my friends because I didn't know if they started as yet. But then as I got older, it became a topic. It became a more comfortable topic to talk about. So afterwards, we started talking about it, and we gave each other tips and everything. It's uncomfortable for girls when they're younger to talk about it, and it feels strange when they're younger because they don't know exactly what's going on, and they need the help to understand it. It is uncomfortable, but... When people make it funny, it's a lot easier to talk about. Instead of when it's like serious, it can be kind of scary. Every stage of a girl's life is uncomfortable to talk about at first, but then as you get used to it and you become more mature and you learn that, well, this is something I have to go through, then it gets more comfortable. So across the board, we've heard, you know, it is uncomfortable. you got to keep in mind physically the changes are going. I mean, the, the cramps, and you just feel awful. And then mm -hmm. and you're afraid everybody around you knows. Especially if you have like an accident mm -hmm. or something. You know, it mm -hmm. really could be scary for young girls. But you Absolutely. know what I love is how she's throwing tampons. Yeah. Because when I was a kid, tampons were sort of a sticky subject, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. everyone's <laughs> using pads. And tampons are great. Mm -hmm. And I think it's great that she's showing how to use it and that she has the mirror as the the sword and, and I guess the tampon. What we're seeing is this is an open discussion. Yes, and it can be a open. humorous one. Yes. And then we take away that it's awkward. Yes, yes, it's fantastic. And it undoes that shame sure. that we've had before from the past, which uh, we can do without. Well, let me ask you this. <laughs> it seems like very much a mom daughter thing. Mm -hmm. Well, what in instances where mom is necessarily there in the household? Do, I mean, should dads stay away from this, find the aunt who can talk about it, or do we get the dads involved in this too? Well, I think that's a great question. I think mm -hmm. it depends on the household. If a father is raising a daughter, the ideal thing is if he can find a female to help mm -hmm. him with it. But if dad has to do it, dad has to because do it. Because sometimes it can be really tough for dad to even start talking. I mean, what mm -hmm. is he going to do? Speak from experience? Well, take her no. to the pediatrician. <laughs> you know, he could take her to the pediatrician and say, mm -hmm. look, can you talk to her or about it? can watch the YouTube stream. Yes, exactly. Watch it at mm -hmm. least to start the conversation. But he's going to be involved. The single parent's going to be involved in terms right. of getting the supplies and all that stuff. It's just normal. No big deal. It just has to be like the groceries. And I, I like that. <laughs> earlier you start to, yeah. the better. You know, we, I, in, yes. in my house, even when my daughter was younger, we would have, you know, little conversations, mm -hmm. and little yes. bits right and pieces. Right, before it happens. Because when yes. I got it, mm -hmm. I really did not know 
anything what, except <laughs> what I read in Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret. Yeah. So I think it's good to prepare her what's coming, how long it's going to mm -hmm. last, and how mm -hmm. she's going to feel. I know. Make it just something, you know, I mean, as they say, something to celebrate, you yes. know, turning yeah. into a woman. Yep. Red badge of courage. That's there you right. go. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much for being with us and weighing in to watch the Hello Flow <laughs> ad in its entirety. Log on to pix11.com slash morning news.